Hey y'all, Danny Moon here. Call me what you want as long as it's respectful. <laughs> I have to go to work, so this is going to be a short video. <laughs> it is, it is. I have this new deck, y'all. It just came in today. I just um, thanked, thanked um, Spirit for it, and I just cleansed it. It's called the Angel Number Oracle. It is a lot to read, so I'll just read snippets. But I did want to come out today. Come out today. <laughs> um, I did want to do this video so that we could see what came out today. Spirit, talk to me. Something's always... Mm. Anyway, Spirit, talk to me. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Let's cleanse a little bit more. Look what's on the bottom of the deck, 1144. I see that number all the time. Thank you, Spirit. You know, I always listen. I always listen for messages. This is the first time this happened where it's like, um, sorry, y'all, something stuck in my teeth or something like that. Um, you know, I have my regular guides who are here. Um, they make it known when they come in. Um, but this time it's like they let the angel of numbers, and I never heard if they're. I don't know. Leave a comment if you know if there is a particular angel that works with like numerology or numbers cuz they just it's like they open the gates to let the angel of numbers come through. Um they are giving me 404. Oh, look, infinity 8. Infinity. Yay. Um So let's just see. I just wanted to tell y'all that I don't know if there is an angel of numerology or an angel of numbers. If there are, please, if if there's many of them or one, or if it's an archangel, please leave it in the comment. Spirit, talk to me. What do you want the collective to know? They did show me like red hair too. Like somebody could be dyeing their hair. Um, somebody could be dyeing their hair red or somebody's hair is red or someone's looking at a red do-rag, um, wig. That's what I call my wigs, do-rag. So, um, I don't know, but green is a color as well. Um, I think I said that in yesterday's video, green is a big color. Maybe for, um, this week coming up or maybe just for the weekend, try to wear something green if you can. Green, um, opens your heart chakra and green attracts money. But make sure that when you are putting something green on, like green socks, um, um, and they're showing me like something, they're showing me green, four leaf clovers, lucky charms. Um, they're even showing me like gold money signs and they're showing me a scarf. I don't know. Um, but make sure your intention in your heart is all about like whatever you want, but you know, it's with love and light. You have to have an intention. You can't just say green. I want some money. Like, nah, 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 nah. It doesn't work that way. <laughs> mm -hmm. Tell me my guides are not here. You can't tell me my guides are not here. If you know any of my favorite numbers, you know that 333 is my um one of my favorite numbers. You know 1111 is my favorite number. But you also know 1212. And look what came out. 1212. I love it. Thank you so much. Choices, choices. So I feel like we all have choices. This, this, I create my reality is a big fucking choice. You know what I mean? Um, choices, decisions, we have to make them. But when you lean so deep in your, in your, um, faith, whatever it is, it makes your decisions and your choices much easier because you know that I know that God is not going to let me 
fall flat on my face. And say if he does, say if God does let me fall flat on my face, it's for a lesson. And he makes sure I learn that lesson. And he picks me right up. And yes, I say he, but God is a, um, to me, God is just an energy. I'm just, it's a habit for me to say he or she, because God is both. God is everything to me. Um, we had three cards that came out, so that was 1212. This is 3939, and that's playfulness. Some of us need to, like, take a break on the depression, take a break on the, all the thoughts that's going through our heads, take a break on, like, life, <laughs> you know what I mean? Some people need to just go in and play and be a kid again. And and they're showing me the sun card in my third eye right now. And I always tell people the sun card is the happiest card in the deck. But people need to really, like, look at the imagery on the card, on the on, uh, the, the Rider Waite um, deck. Um, and really, like, look at that kid on that unicorn. Look at that kid on that horse and see how happy they are and embody that again, even if it's for an hour. You know what I'm saying? Say if you're going to go take the kids skating, even if it's for two hours. You know what I mean? If you're going to go sit in a park, if it's for your lunch break, embody that young, imaginary spirit again. You know what I mean? And you should do it um, every day. Take time out to embody, to imagine, to draw, to play with fidget toys, to look up at the sky, to feel young. You know what I mean? Not only in your body, but in your mind, you know? Um, 272, confidence. 272, confidence. I love it. All of those things I don't have to read because they're... Um, self-explanatory we have 12 12 which is choices we have um 39 39 with which is playfulness letting that into your life um and we have 272 which is confidence and i'm gonna get two more spirit thank you so much for for just being here always coming in when i ask you to come in and yes they come in for everyone and they're always around they ne they're never far our spirit guides are never far they're always around but you do have to say like i need you can you come in to answer a question for me i need you because i'm feeling confused i need you because i'm really happy and i don't know what to wear today can you help me navigate it because they will answer any of your questions Okay, Spirit, what's at the bottom? 1321, awareness. Please be aware. Be aware of your surroundings. I try to tell my daughter this, but she's 13, so, you know, they oblivious. Um, but please be aware of um, synchronicity signs. They're showing me a dollar, and they're showing me the pyramid on the dollar, and maybe there's an eye. You see this eye? They're showing me the eye. Look at your dollar bills for some reason. Look at them closely. Analyze them. You know, I don't know why, y'all. They're just showing that to me. Um, just be aware of your drinks when you walk away. When you go to the bathroom, don't leave your drinks unattended. You know what I mean? Um, don't be by yourself in a dog alley. Like, don't be by yourself. You know, I'm saying, like, if you go out, like, you know, you go with your friends, you leave with your friends. You know what I mean? Just, I don't, I don't trust nothing, so... Spirit, talk to me. What do you want? Okay, okay. 22, Harmony. 22. <laughs> 22, Harmony. And I know a lot of us is looking for that. We looking for just Harmony. You know, maybe with somebody or, um, you know, maybe Harmony within yourself. You know what I mean? But... I always tell you, you have to look for that within yourself first. You have to find peace within yourself first. And if you're going in, in if you're going through anything in a relationship and that is where you're looking for harmony, you're looking in the wrong places because the harmony should start within you individually and then with the other person individually and then y'all come together. This is all common sense. I don't think I have to tell you this, okay? If you're looking for harmony or peace at your job, uh, why? This is a job. This is a job. Go do your job and go home. You know what I mean? W once you find that peace within yourself, you're not going to have to go into a building and look for it. You know what I mean? People are catty. People are underhanded. People be throwing people under the bus. Ha be aware. Okay? Be aware. I'm sorry. And spirit is like, why? why? Like, they're giving me 
either the eye or the energy of why are you saying this? But look at the word confirmation. Always, always. Thank you, spirit. I'm saying this and I'm talking to you and to them because I was like that. I was always looking for validation at my job or why I always be like, why are people not nice? You know what I mean? Like I, I now let people live in their own energy. That's who they are. That's not who I am. I, if I don't see niceness around me or peace around me, I go to someone and I exude peace and I give love and I give that energy that's within me. That's it. I stop looking for it around me. <clears throat> I'm going to leave that there. This is the second time that I saw 303 and it's about forgiveness. You got to forgive yourself before you can forgive anyone else. It start, everything starts with self. Everything starts with awareness of who self is. Okay, woo, bottom of the deck, three, 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 yes. And didn't I say the dollar bill? I saw the um, pyramid and it had the eye on it. Boom, I love this. Support, support one another. Support one another, plain and simple. Go pat somebody on the back and say you're doing a great job. <laughs> Leaving somebody's comments and say, you know what, I love you. Um, you doing a great job, you know, which my, my subscribers, y'all always, I love y'all so much. I am patting y'all on the back. I love y'all so much. Y'all always um, big me up, so. Um, but other people need support too. Go subscribe to other people. Um, Goddess Nubia 111, Goddess Nubia 1111, go subscribe to her. That's my sister. Go subscribe to her. I can name many, many people that you can go subscribe to. But just, you know, if they resonate with you, subscribe to them because they need the help. We need the help. Um, or somebody in the street might, might need a kind word. You know what I mean? Um, the truth, 99. What is the truth? And I'm always talking about like... Did you find out the truth about a spouse? This is the truth about you. What's the truth? You know what I mean? What's the truth? Five, five, shift, you know, 55. All fives means a change, butterfly, transformation. I love it. I don't mean to keep picking from the bottom, y'all, but it is what it is. Cause do y'all have anything else for us? They're giving me the word Constance. Um, and that's my friend's name, Constance. Um, they, 11, and I told you I, I love 11. 11, 11, or 11. This is Awaken. Awaken. Whoever I talk to, whoever comes to this page, if you're not fully awakened, you are awakened in some sort. Something's happening. All right, I'm going to leave it there because then we could go through the whole deck. 51, 51, Optimism. I love it. Be optimistic, y'all. Know that today is great. Know that tomorrow is great. Know that we are great. Okay, let's get some tarot out real quick. Real quick, real quick. Spirit, what do you want? Um, what do you want my people to know? Choices. Choose to have a great day. Choose to change your mindset. Choose to leave. Choose to do something different. Everything is a choice. 12 12. Everything is a choice. Set your alarm. Set your alarm, y'all, to these to these numbers. Like set your alarm to 12 12. Set your alarm to 333. Set your alarm to 11 11. Just so it's a reminder of how grateful, how grateful you are to these gods to be around you. You know what I mean? Magic is in the air, they're giving me. They're saying magic is in the air. Oh my gosh, magic is in the air. But it's a choice to feel it. It's a choice to know it, okay? Randy, I don't know, they're giving me, or Ran, Ran, I don't know, Randy or something that, maybe a name that starts with an R, I don't know, Raquel. <clears throat> They're telling me something about turning a blind eye. Mm, you could take that however. Sometimes you should just mind your business. <laughs> Basically, sometimes you mind your business. Turn a blind eye. If you got to, you know, 
it depends on the situation and what it is. You know what I mean? Um, sometimes I, because of my soul and how connected I am to God and the universe, sometimes it's hard for me to turn a blind eye. Sometimes I just have to call it what call it how I see it. You know what I'm saying? Um, boundaries. So, and some of y'all need to create boundaries. Like, like enough is enough. I'm not reaching out no more. Fuck that. You know what I mean? That's for whoever resonates with it resonates. Spirit is talking to you. Like, create boundaries. You know what I mean? Enough is enough. You know what I mean? Um, um, they put in the... I am in a spiritual program. It's called the Sage Method Program. I love it. So, um, y'all should check it out. They, they just put that in my brain and maybe it's to tell you like, you know, about it. It's, it, it, you know, it's great. I don't even know what to say about it. It is super great. I'm learning how to horn my gifts. I'm learning how to, um, use different tools, different tactics. I'm meeting great people on the app. Like, so the sage method, it is not expensive. Um, and it's worth it. It's very affordable. <clears throat> Spirit, talk to me. What do you want? Something about an apology. So either somebody needs an apology. You Well, you shouldn't need an apology. Okay? If the person is... You shouldn't need that. Okay? So, but somebody is either expecting an apology or somebody needs to give one. And if Spirit bring it up, Spirit is budging you. Go ahead and do the right thing. You know what I mean? Just go ahead and do the right thing. Clear your, clear your conscience. Clear your energy. Or they need to clear their conscience or clear their energy. But say, if you're expecting an apology, say if they don't. Let them live in their own energy. Trust me, karma gets everyone. <laughs> everyone. Spirit, talk to me. And we wish nothing bad on nobody. I'm not, I'm not saying that, but karma's real. Karma gets everyone, including myself. Karma doesn't have a name. Okay, see, this is the, this, the high priestess, this time right now is real electrifying. I don't know, I, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is, and I'm coming back, I'm coming back either tonight, not tonight, not tonight, maybe Sunday night, and I'm doing the Libra video, and I know this time for Libras is magical, is very, very magical for Libras, and maybe even Gemini's. I'm not an astrologer, y'all, so if you know something, leave it in the comments so we can share information. Um, but right now, the universe is not just open. I, I, I see, like, stardust, stardust coming down on us, on the collective. The people who use their gifts, the people who are intuitive, uh, you know, the people who are coming into their gifts. I see this stardust coming down. So again, about choices and decision, y'all. If you feel like you're sinking or drowning, don't, because that's a choice. Just hold your hand up. Just breathe above water. You'll be fine. Okay? <clears throat> um, the high priestess is about being quiet. The high priestess is about using your intuition. The high priestess is about using your energy. The high priestess is about knowing shit. She know a lot. She know everything. <laughs> she know everything about everybody business that's why for her to turn a blind eye is nothing because she already knows the business okay um you're very protected if anybody feels in, like any black magic is on them you, mm -mm, yeah even if somebody i'm not saying people don't try to put stuff on you or throw daggers at you i'm not saying they don't but you're so you're the bubble that is around you is crazy they're showing me stars and, and fairies. Um, they're showing me a little chichihuahua that's barking. I don't know what that means. And I feel like this chichihuahua, am I saying that right, chichihuahua? Them little dogs. I feel like this little dog passed. Miami, they're giving me Miami, and they're giving me lots of fruit, pineapple, 
lots of fruit y'all i don't know what none of that was about but if you resonate with it if you like oh i ate pineapple yesterday these messages are for you if you see in lots of fruit these messages are for you if you see in a lot of dragonflies around you because that's what they're showing they're showing me dragonflies and bugs like particular bugs if you see them around you all it's like oh i just saw that like ew like uh, it, it's a message they're trying to communicate with you uh, get your money up, y'all. Think of all different type of ways that you could get strands, different strands of income in. You know what I mean? If you, and don't say you can't, don't say you're not talented, don't say you can't sing or dance. <laughs> I'm just pulling that out my ass, y'all. But I'm just saying, like, let's start think of thinking of different streams of income, whether it's Uber Eats, whether it's Uber Lyft, whatever. You know what I mean? Let's think of what we could do. And I don't want you to overfill your plate. Don't overfill your plate. Okay, it's 937. I got to be to work at 10 o'clock. Spirit, talk to me. What do you want the um, collective to know? Look, we put Aquarius is where you at? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, or you could have Aquarius in your chart, or you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Or it's just maybe you know an Aquarius. Maybe you have a favorite cousin that's an Aquarius. Okay, maybe your kid is an Aquarius. But I love this, the star card, because this is basically saying what I said. Like, you are super protected. Don't stop thinking people are throwing black magic at you. Because, and say if you be like, I know they are. I know they putting something on me. You are creating your own reality. You remember, we have that that God energy, that source energy within us. Everyone has a piece of that source energy within us. And so because of that, when we say something over and over again, we're creating that. So why don't you reverse that and say, you know what, I'm super protected. They could throw whatever they want to me. Nothing's touching me because my God's got me. Archangel Michael is protecting me. His wing is around me. All the archangels stand around me. Like, you gotta, you see how I say that? Because that's, I know that, <laughs> you know, for myself. I need you to believe that. I need you to know that, okay? I need you to know that um, everything that you want, and they're, they're giving me the feel of the justice card on here, which is a Libra. So if you have Libra in your chart, um, I'm coming for you, Libras. Um, and I'm a Libra. Hey, oh, I'm just saying. Um, the, or I don't know, some about some about balance. So make sure your energy is balanced out. Okay. And what does that mean? If you were sad yesterday, be happy today. <laughs> don't worry be happy come on now we gotta balance out our energy you know what i mean if last week all you did was run around run around run around this week you should chill get your feet done man or woman you know what i'm saying watch a game eat some popcorn you know what I mean? make some fish make some ribs make some spaghetti you know what I mean? Like, chill, have a glass of wine. And I'm not promoting, sorry, y'all. I'm not promoting drinking, but it is what it is. Chill out. This is a healing card, healing energy, okay? Stop thinking so much about your finances. And don't get me wrong. I know you're like, but I got to pay this bill, some of you. You know, it, the bill will get paid. You see this? You see how luxury, the, be the empress. I'm putting that out there. Your bill will get paid. Spirit, make that happen for them. Your bill will get paid. I believe it. Now, you, I need you to believe that. Okay? That money that's you looking for, look at that. Hey! The sun card. I'm loud. Ain't nobody here, though. <laughs> look, didn't I tell you? Look at this. Look, the universe is open. Rainbows, stardust, unicorn energy. Hey. Mm, mm, mm. I, I see a, a, a lot of you, maybe a handful of you, but that's still a lot, are going out this weekend. Be aware. Be aware. Things will shift, okay? Be aware. So not all of you are going out, and that's fine. Um, hey, something new is coming to you. A new beginning, new money. 
a new beginning, new money, a new man, a new woman, a new relationship, okay? You know, I don't promote, I, prom I promote new relationships, but I promote more of self-love. Your relationship should be with yourself first, you know what I mean? Um, we gotta, we gotta do something with this trauma, y'all. We gotta do something with this trauma. Some people used to suffer with, like, middle kid syndrome. Like, if you was, like, the middle child syndrome, that still lies dormant in you somewhere. Whoever, this is not for everybody, but it still lies dormant. You know what I mean? You gotta, you gotta regurgitate that out of here. You gotta get that out of here. Uh, some of you, you see this number deck that I got? Some of you need to create a number deck. Like, just create. All you got to do is get the cards off of Amazon for $10 and get a Sharpie and write, your, you know, and sit and meditate and see what your guides, what, what numbers your guides give you. But, like, create a deck. Some people need to create, like, an ancient deck. I don't know what that means, but if you know what it means, then you need to create it. Creation is a key. And you know, after yesterday's video in the park, when I when I turned the video off and I uploaded it, Spirit was like the biggest message that I did not give that they wanted me to give was to create. And people always think that means song and dance. No, create however you feel you should create. Maybe you feel like you want to make a cake. <laughs> Maybe you feel like you want to open up a spreadsheet and work on math. That's your type of creation. Go for it. They want you to just do it and get out of the feeling of lack. Somebody may feel like they got played or somebody didn't call them back or they waiting around for this person to call back. And this is also my health card. I cannot help you from across the phone. All I can tell you is that I've been, every video I tell you, go check on, you. what are you waiting for? To make an appointment. And then some of you, your doctor is like, oh, we'll give you an appointment. For months from now, go to a um, mini clinic, like right here at the Walgreens or a CVS, you know what I mean? Like, all I'm trying to tell you is stop making excuses. I'm going through this menopause stuff, and my doctor won't give me a, an appointment for a, a long time, so I'm doing research on it. I'm seeing all the different pills, I'm seeing what menopause has to do, pre-menopause, I'm seeing, I'm doing a lot of research on it. Do the research. You can't sit around with a headache for five days and be like, oh my God, it's getting worse. And just sit around. Go to your urgent care. It, um, Look up teas. Like if you got a headache, look up teas that will take away headaches until you could go to your doctor. You know what I mean? Like, come on now. Come on. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Some of you are gardeners or love plants because they're showing me like a little pot and with a plant in it and like put your hands in it talk to it every day love on it water it and i'm sure you do that but they're saying maybe that maybe spirit is saying they they see you doing that you know what i mean or maybe spirit is saying that's something that you should get creative if you think you got a green thumb or if you want to try it out try it out <clears throat> oh they gave me a lot of journaling is happening too that's super great i love it did I tell you the star card is about your deceased loved ones um, watching over you? Four of Wands. Four of Wands is the, the lucky, lucky card. The 11 11 card. I spoke about the 11 11. We got the 11 card. Where is it? Right here. Awaken. Boom. Spirit is just talking to all of you who are listening. They're showing me red lipstick. I love red lipstick. I love a good red lip. So. If you like wearing red lipstick, or if you wear red lipstick, or you're going to wear red lipstick tonight, or for this weekend, go ahead. <laughs> I love a red lip. They're showing me a red, a red pump, too. Like a red high heel. Um, I know y'all not showing me a red bottom, because I can't get, I, I ain't getting no, not that I can't afford it, because I can afford anything. You know, money comes to me effortlessly. Mm. <laughs> but um, I'm not interested in the red bottom. I like a, I like a, um, I hope my door didn't ring my doorbell. I like a pump, a red patent leather pump. 
You know what I mean? Um, Four of Wands is about a threshold, a new, a, a new chapter in your life. I love it. And it could be with somebody. This is a new home. This is a new apartment, a new house, you know, a new state you move into. I love it. Texas is standing out, but I told y'all yesterday, I, I think it was yesterday, I got a couple of friends who live in Texas. <clears throat> Look at what's at the bottom of the deck again. Boom, boom, boom. And I am getting baby shower. You know, I told you, uh, so some of you could be going to a baby shower. Um, the sun card, I'm trying to talk fast because I don't want this video to be long. It's already 30 minutes. Um, sun card is about being the happiest card in the deck, being the happiest person within yourself in the deck. You know what I'm saying? The sun card is about you. The sun card is about choosing to be happy. Even if shit is going on. Spirit is saying, source is saying, choose to be happy and we'll give that to you. Okay? Um, three of cups. I told you events are going on. People are going out this weekend. Graduations are happening. Birthdays are happening. Baby showers is happening. Events is happening. You know what I mean? Um, even something is happening at work. I see like a, a something, I see something happening at work, like a job event or a birthday or some type of desk being set up with it. Could, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> if you know like oh yeah uh, blah, blah, then this reading's for you be aware be self aware alright something about diet exercise eat right there's nothing I can't do nothing for you yet I will become doing some dancing stuff on my next channel and that's when I'm gonna be able to do for y'all because I will be giving like meal plans um, and I'll be doing some dancing, you know what I mean? Just to help the collective out. Um, yeah, it's going to be, that's for my next channel. <laughs> um, Ace of Swords, this is the truth card. Same same thing. The Ace of Swords is about knowing the truth, getting the truth, the truth about yourself, hearing the truth. It's not a. It's not really about the truth. I mean, that's not true. It is about the truth. Because when you when you say the truth to yourself, that's when you really become enlightened and awakened. You know what I mean? Even if it's a bad truth, like word, I didn't know that. Then you are enlightened. All right. It's about what you do with the truth. It's about how you react after you find out the truth. Okay? So, make sure you sit with it. Have some discernment. See how... What, what would us do? What would Jesus do? Okay? It's not easy, but take the high road. Always take the high road. Always. And do it like this with a smile on your face. <laughs> okay, spirit. Anything else? Someone is saying, like, I don't trust her. Like, somebody is like, yo, I don't know who this is, but it's like, you don't trust her. Go with your gut. If your intuition is telling you not to trust somebody, it don't matter who it is. Don't trust them. Don't trust them. If you can't trust it, then don't trust it. You know what I mean? But I do. My thing is this. It took me a long time to feel my intuition and to learn how to work my intuition. And to be honest with you, I'm still learning it, you know, in this program I'm in and things like that. After you make a decision like that, or maybe before you make a decision like that, because you want to make sure you are making the best decision for you, sit with it. If you are making a harsh or rash or fast decision, Hold it, hold it for a second. Sit with it, mull with it. You know what I mean? Don't, don't do the rat race thing and run it in your head a thousand times. Really, like, look at it, peel it apart. You know what I'm saying? Ask questions, communicate. Ask somebody you trust. Like, am I bugging? Did so and so? Blah blah blah. You know what I'm saying? Ask questions, and maybe you'll get a different perspective on it. You know what I mean? <clears throat> and then maybe the outcome would be don't trust it and maybe your intuition is right i just want you to be very sure you know what i mean 
they're giving i don't know why they're giving me september 21st i don't know september 21st all right what was you doing september 21st or maybe the September that's coming up, September 21st. I don't know. Um, September, October. So se September is nine. Nine could be a number for you. You might see nine, nine, nine. They are trying to come. I don't know what that angel number is. So look it up. Um, and then 21 is three. So three might be a number of you. Three, 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 which we pulled out. Um, or three, you know what I mean? Or September 21st might be something for you. Some of you still feel stuck. I saw the um hang man, hang hang one hang man at the bottom of the deck, and it's all right, y'all. It's all right. It's it's why you feeling stuck. Why you yeah yeah I feel stuck. But what can I do about it? Let's see what what classes I can take next year. Like get yourself prepared for next year. You know what I'm saying? So how much can I save for next year when, when I take this class? Oh, I don't want to go back to school. Let me see about a certificate, like a six-month certificate thing. You know what I mean? Maybe when I get my taxes back next year, I'll take that money. Like, you got to do something, y'all. You got to prepare in some type of way. All right, change is coming. Maybe you are preparing. Maybe you did decide to go back to school. Maybe you did decide to get that certification so you could up your money game. Maybe you did decide to apply to a different job or a side gig. Maybe you did decide to like really up your game with this metaphysical stuff. You know, instead of being a watcher, you're a doer now. You know, you, you have your own YouTube channel that I can subscribe to, <laughs> okay? That's what the death card is. The death card is shedding the old you and coming into the new you. And alone. Sometimes you see these people. You see these people. Sometimes you got to leave them right where they are. <laughs> Mary Catherine. I don't know why I got that name. Mary Catherine. I feel like that was in a sister act. That was in sister act, I think. Mary Catherine. Um, I don't know why I'm saying. I don't know. Spirit just throws stuff at me, okay? Um, you might be a love of horses because they're showing me like a horses and green pasture. But I tell you all the time, horses about is about taking action. So spirit is saying if you don't love horses, then they trying to tell you it's time for you to get up off your ass. Um, but if you do love horses, go pet one. <laughs> okay. And if you live in the city and you can't make plans to go to the zoo, take your kids to the zoo. You take your nieces to the zoo. You know what I'm saying? Take a trip. You know what I'm saying? Or look the horses up. Look what the spiritual meaning of horses is up. But I already told you it's about taking action. But I'm sure horses is about um, more than just taking action. If you know, leave it in the comments, okay? Um, Three of Pentacles is new energy around you. This is also building a home from scratch. You know what I mean? I meant to look up what benches mean in tarot. I have this app on my phone. It's called Galaxy Tarot. It's one of the best tarot apps ever but it only comes to us android people it don't come to you um what are y'all <laughs> what are y'all air pod people air um damn my daughter got one of those phones it don't matter if you're not an android it can't come to you so i'm just saying if you have and, and i'm only messing with y'all but i'm not messing with y'all it really does only come to android i try to put a lot of people onto the galaxy tarot and only android people can get it but that app tells you everything about the card okay so for some reason maybe um I, this bench is just standing out to me so if you know that's your homework find out what benches mean in tarot leave it in the comments okay um, I'm gonna leave that there. Um, but three of pentacles is expansion. I love this. And the seven of wands is about fighting your way to the top, standing your ground. There's no advice there. Continue to do what you're doing. Now, don't get me wrong. Do it with discernment because there's devil energy all around us. And I really feel for some of you, remember earlier I said you was like, I don't trust her. I feel like there's, watch what you say. Watch what you talk about. Okay. Um, this corporate, these corporate jobs is something else, y'all. I understand if, if I, I totally get it now why the collective, the people with who use these gifts don't have regular jobs. And if you do, if you do use your gifts like me, I'm about to go to work. I, I know that I'm not going to be doing a regular job 
for the rest of my life. I'm going to have to do what God told me to do. Only, only because the energy is crazy. So learn how to deal with these energies. All right, y'all. I gotta go. It is nine fifty-seven. I gotta go. Mm -mm -mm. Um, can I get before I go? Can I get some advice for the collective? What do you want them to do in all of their situations? Breathe. They want you to breathe. They want you to put some of this stuff down that's on your plate. You got too much on your plate. But they want you to know you're very protected and you look so cute in your outfit. Every day you look cute in your outfit. But they want you to make a decision and they want you to drop something off of your plate. Like you holding too much, you trying to do too much. Okay, you trying to do too much. Um, and that was the two of pentacles. And then the eight of pentacles is about working hard, but they want you to start working hard on you, on your craft. They want you to work on, and they're giving me the hands, Reiki, you might do Reiki, um, or, or you might want to do Reiki, or you got energy in your hands, something with your hands, y'all. Maybe you, you craft things with your hands. Maybe you want to make things with your hands. I don't know, but they're showing me with your hands. But Eight of Pentacles is about hard work, and my thing is, I, I'm a hard worker, so I know all about it, but my thing is, if you're going to do hard work, make sure you love it try to okay ace of cups is a new beginning in love not just with a person maybe with yourself why do you love yourself fall in love with you again this could be a relationship yes it can um but I, you know it could be anything anything but something new is waiting for you that you are that you do love put these Put these burdens down. Can I get some more advice for the collective? And then I really got to go, y'all. And I'm going to upload this with no hashtags. Oh, be patient. Create. The temperance card is about creation. It's about healing. So you need, I need to understand this is a healing time for you. I do see tears. And I do feel like people was crying at some point. And it's okay. That's a form of release. Keep, continue to do that. Okay, continue to journal, continue to cry, and it's okay, but continue to have this smile on your face, continue to sun gaze, continue to walk in that park, continue to count your money, like, thank you so much for this, continue to be grateful for that dollar that I told you to look at, okay, create, create, create. The chariot. The chariot is about momentum. Your advice is this, that spirit said things are going to go fast for you once you make this decision. You got to make a really big decision, y'all. Some of it could be legal. I'm getting legal matters, legal papers. You know what I mean? Some of you, some of it is not legal. Some of it is just like making a decision. Should I go to work today or not? You know what I'm saying? But Spirit is saying, once you make the, and I don't think so, the chariot is about a big decision that you need to make, and then once you make it, boom, then the universe will start tumbling greatness to you. Right now, greatness is trickling in, whether you see it or not. But they're saying it'll go really quickly. This could be a move. This could be a new car. You know what I'm saying? This could. This is some sort of travel. They, they just said to me the waiting game, the waiting game. I don't, the way, the waiting game is, look at that, the three of wands, the three of wands, the three of wands is a waiting game, the three of wands is the universe, um, open to you, and why do you, all of these triangles, y'all, all of these triangles, maybe we need to go to Egypt together and visit the pyramids, maybe you need to look that up, okay, I feel like somebody's grandfather was in like World War II or something like that. I don't know where that came from. Maybe somebody's grandfather went to Egypt or saw the pyramids or something like that. I'm getting the name Eddie. And and I'm getting... The, it, this could be a name Passion. <laughs> or you can have a passion for Egypt. I don't know. They're showing me really birds like crows. 1001, y'all. I really got to go. Um, I love you. I love you. I love you. There's so many messages I want to give you. And... Um, start writing down your dreams, y'all. Start writing down your dreams. I feel like somebody saw somebody they knew in their dreams. Um, I love you. I gotta go. I gotta go. And again, I'm getting a name. I'm getting more names like Paula and Tariq 
and Jeannie. I got Jeannie the other day. Wow. <laughs> Jenny. <sighs> Patricia. I'm getting all these names, y'all. I really got to go. I'm out of here. Danny Moon, I love you. 